The world premiere of Jaja's African hair braiding takes us inside a hair braiding shop in Harlem on one hot summer day. The hit play introduces us to a lively group of West African immigrant hair braiders, including Aminata, played by Nana Mensa. Take a look. Oh my God! What are you doing? That's too much oil. You want me to break out? I didn't put too much. It feels like you poured the whole bottle. Sorry, sure could not be me. <laughs> Can you not make the parts too big? Yeah, sure, no problem. And please don't be braiding it all tight. I am not trying to lose all my damn hair. Oh, my edges. I don't braid tight. It's fine. You better not. Oh, I am so tired today. <laughs> and Nana is with us now. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. This is your Broadway debut. Yes. Tell me about your character, Aminata. Aminata is, huh. Aminata is... I think a study in what it is to be a fully fleshed out character in a 90 minute play. I think we get a sense of her chaotic nature. We get a sense of her tender heart. We get a sense of her passion for, for life and, and joy. And um, she's a delight. She's really a delight. Now you say <laughs> that you're not much like her. You're unlike the character. If there's anything that you possess, what would you give to her if you could? I would give Aminata, um, Maybe a little bit more judgment um, when it comes, <laughs> better judgment when it comes to perhaps her personal life. Oh, um, okay. I think, I think maybe she could be a little, slightly more discerning. Now, you say that this is a very relatable story. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the response you've been getting. What are people relating to? You know, it's been magnificent because it's such a niche play right like it has so much to do with hair with black women's hair um with the west african immigrant experience and um and yet our audiences have been packed with people from all walks of life uh and finding so much joy in these women um and comedy and so i think it's just utterly relatable because it's about you know, human beings and a workplace. It's a workplace comedy, like The Office, like Parks and Rec, you know, but it's, but it's about a, a subset of people that you've never really had that much, most people haven't had a lot of time with, you know. So people get to laugh, but you say that they also walk away wiser. What impact has this show had on you as someone who's been a part of it the entire time here since it's staged readings? Yeah, I think... Um, the impact it's had on me is to be a little bit more vigilant in terms of um, the, the swath, the wide swath of people that make New York work. I think we got a little taste of that during the pandemic. And I think it's only broadened the scope of how I see people and how I see the people that make New York run, um, that sometimes we can walk by and not give a second thought. So. Now, you were actually braiding hair in the show. You went to a hair braiding boot camp, is that right? Yeah, well, it came to us. <laughs> so uh, in the form of Susie Oludele, who is a fantastic master braider, and she came in uh, for a couple of weekends and basically just taught us how to do it, not only how to braid if we didn't know, um, but also how to position our hands and make it look like we're actually braiding so audiences are wowed i call it harry potter for hair because there's so much magical hair yep. stuff going on and the new york times just wrote a huge feature on that so the hair is getting a lot of attention mm -hmm. but something else that you're doing that's amazing or the production they're live streaming it from november 14th to 19th what does that mean to you as a performer to have so many people be able to see this show well it's amazing because i'm Ghanaian american and i have a lot of family in ghana that can't make it to broadway to come and see this show so the fact that they're going to be able to see it online is beautiful. It means so much to me and I know to a lot of the other cast members. Now, this is such a powerhouse team, both on and off stage. There was a play about the making of this production. If there was a play about the making of this production, what would it be called? <laughs> <laughs> um, sweat. But there's already a play called Sweat, so we'd have to call it something else. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of labor went into the construction of the magic of this show. And so, I mean, the team, all the department heads, our director, Whitney White, Jocelyn Bio, incredible. Yeah, well, we're really excited about it. Now, you can catch Jaja's African hair braiding playing now at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. Nana, thank you so much. I could thank listen you. to you speak all day. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lovely voice.